Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am your Viprajesh again and I am here with the Volkswagen Vento Highline Plus automatic variant. The Highline Plus is available only with the automatic transmission, be it the petrol or the diesel and this is the most premium variant, the most top of the line variant of the Volkswagen Vento range. At the front you can clearly see the facelifted fascia with the LED headlamps. These are auto leveling headlamps which are LED which look really cool even when not lit so that's how cool they are the design has been inspired from the Volkswagen Polo uh, GTI the two-door coupe version of the Volkswagen Polo hatchback and you can clearly see the sporty appeal to it the car looks much more lower thanks to the new uh, body skirts which are also inspired by the GTI version and look really nice these are 16 inch alloy wheels standard on the Highline Plus variants of the Volkswagen Vento, Polo and the Amio and this is no different here. They look really nice, they really complement the understated design of the Volkswagen Vento. Along with that you get this nice chrome line along with chrome details on the door handles of the doors which look really premium and kind of aids the premium appeal of the Volkswagen Vento. Coming on over to the rear you can see new details on the tail lamps. I do not see any difference in terms of shape but they are kind of nice when you have a look at the details. So this here is the TSI turbo stratified injection uh, 1.2 liter turbo petrol with a 7 speed DSG automatic. As you can clearly see from the badge, the rear bumper also receives this uh, sportier Ford diffuser like design along with a small lip spoiler which kind of makes it a little bit sporty. However, you cannot deny that this is a really premium sedan and it's got a whole lot of premiumness attached to it when it comes to even just the brand name. So let's just uh, get inside the car and see what's all different and what's all new in terms of premiumness and features. Yes guys, I am right now inside the Volkswagen Vento Highline Plus variant. And as you can see, this is the top end variant and it's got almost all the features you would ever need. And most of all, this here is the DSG automatic transmission lever. So this here is the TSI variant and that's why the, this variant gets the automatic transmission. In fact, the Highline Plus variant is available only with the automatic transmission and only with the uh, turbo stratified 1.2 liter turbo petrol engine so coming to the interiors it is so very much plush it's a dual tone interior and looks so much premium even in today's age well uh, you may have seen my review of the skoda rapid so it's almost similar to that over here every material every quality every design element is exactly the same except for the steering wheel which is volkswagen's own design it's also really well uh, made it's got leather wrapping as you can see the material is really soft and premium and plush you got steering mode audio controls over here which also look really nice and tactile every button everything you feel in this cabin is so very much well built the instrument cluster also remains exactly well almost similar to the skoda rapid except for the fact that you get uh, white lighting for everything over here inside as you can see the mid is also uh, white in display now coming to the right side of the driver you can notice the uh, lever sorry the switch for uh, the rotary switch for the headlamp control this variant also gets automatic headlamps well uh, sorry the automatic leveling headlamps it's not automatic headlamps but you get automatic leveling the skoda rapid gets automatic headlamps but uh, this variant uh, this volkswagen vento gets automatic leveling only that's because the headlights on the uh, Volkswagen Vento are all LED and uh, you can see that this car does not get any sort of leveling mechanism uh, any car every car has a, le a leveling a rotary le wheel or something to control that but this car does not get that because it's an automatic leveling function uh, the car will automatically level 
the headlamps uh, height the focus uh, height for you uh, according to the weight and according to the uh, incline the road uh, in gradient or something so that that's a really helpful feature so you do not have to do anything basically so yeah coming to other bits of the interior of course you can see the steering wheel is flat bottom it's got telescopic and tilt adjustment as well uh, yeah of course the Volkswagen Polo itself gets that even from the entry level variant so that's fantastic coming to the center console of course here is the very standard center console it remains the same in terms of design you got the very square ish uh, AC vents of course there is nothing changed in that however this here is the uh, new touchscreen system it's a 7 inch uh, display it's got reverse parking camera unfortunately I'm unable to switch it on because this car has not uh, yet been uh, inspected after delivery so yeah it's a really good unit it does not have uh, android auto or apple carplay but it's still a good unit the audio quality is really impressive as well now lower down here is the ac uh, automatic clim climate controls console you got every button really good to feel as well it's very similar to the skoda rapid and it works really well so yeah and yeah about the infotainment system you get this electronic uh, uh, stability program control button you can switch that off although I would not recommend that but this car also gets electronic stability program that's only because this variant is an automatic transmission so just like on the Skoda Rapid you get that you get rear windshield defogger um, okay so yeah that's all about the center console it's a really good uh, utility uh, area yeah everything you get is of really good functionality however it's not that uh, flamboyant in design so that's okay coming to the glove box of course it is a large capacity unit it's light colored as well i don't know how practical would that be if you are about to store some dirty things in there like say dirty gloves or something so it is cooled as well you can see the cooling vent over there okay so yeah coming to the seats these are leather seats these are fantastic in terms of quality these are not ventilated however these are porous you can see the pores over there so basically uh, you will not be so sweaty if you are uh, traveling on these seats for a long time so that's really good so I'll just grab this again just in case yeah so that it may not get dirty the armrest over here is also beige in color it's really nice and plush it's so comfortable to use it's it's easy to position it as well you get three different levels of position so yeah that that was the this is the first level the lowest level here is the second one and here's the third one so you can position it however you want and if you don't want it you can just uh, leave it over here however leaving it over here will be kind of a hindrance if you are using an, uh, a manual transmission gearbox but since this is an automatic it's totally fine but i don't see why you want to uh, not use the armrest when you are using an automatic transmission so i would prefer this uh, prefer that this armrest be used and below the armrest you can see that uh, the handbrake lever is centrally positioned Volkswagen could have uh, positioned it a little bit to the right or left to make uh, usage of better space but okay it's fine you get two slots be beside the handbrake lever and they seem okay for a wallet or something behind the transmission lever you can see the standard storage space you can uh, store cu two cups here so these are the cup holders and you get an additional uh, sort of storage space you can store a lot of things there so that's a really good uh, storage bin there so yeah okay so that's all about the front area of the Volkswagen Vento and yeah talking about the doors you got all four power windows of course all Volkswagen Ventos get this and the good thing is that all four power windows are auto down and auto up with anti pinch mechanism so that is really good thing a lot of premium cars do not offer that but the Volkswagen Vento does that you got electronically foldable ORVMs not auto folding you get electronic folding though uh, you have to basically switch this to the reverse side so that's uh, how you operate the auto folding sorry electronic folding mechanism apart from that you get electronic adjustable ORVMs you got central locking buttons over here and you got the immobilizer blinker over here so just like on any other Volkswagen you get that as well and here is the auto dimming IRVM it's really sleek and really nice to look at given the fact that uh, a whole lot of other cars offer auto dimming IRVM though they offer sorts of uh, tacky looking switches on the IRVM but this here is the slickest IRVM I have ever seen in terms of auto dimming 
I wish more cars do this instead of offer, offering tacky looking buttons over there. Yeah, coming to the sun visors, these are the sun visors. They are nice and really robust. They are the chunkiest sun visors I have ever seen. Apart from that, you get the standard yellow light for the cabin in the front and the rear. As you can see, it's a yellow light. So they could have offered white lights but still it's okay the vanity mirror for the passenger is there and it's nicely designed it's it's so well integrated this is a really premium looking sun visor yeah the overall detailing in this car is so impressive uh, apart from the build quality of course the build quality is simply fantastic yeah the rear cabin also gets separate cabin lights for uh, two passengers which is really good i'll just get into the rear seat but before that, I would like to show the stocks. Yeah, of course, this here is the wiper stock on the right side. And the headlamp stock is on the left side. And you get cruise control as well. Well, yeah, even the Volkswagen Polo, MU and all sorts of cars get uh, cruise control on the top end variants. So that is uh, no big deal. And yeah, talking about the cup holders, these are very large. You can use them for basically anything. Uh, these are the bottle holders in the doors and you get additional storage space for some other things like your documents or maps or something this here is the lever to open the boot for of the Volkswagen Vento which I'll show you in a bit so let me just get into the back seat to show you how does the back seat fare yes guys I am right now inside the Volkswagen Vento and I'm in the back seat as you can see this here is a good view of the dashboard from the back seat it's a really premium looking cabin and uh, it still looks good even after all these years given the fact that the Volkswagen Vento was launched around 2011 so yeah talking about the back seat itself the legroom is good it's really good um, yeah not the best in terms of legroom uh, when you compare with the uh, Maruti Suzuki Sias or the Honda City but still it is really good in terms of space the knee room is good the foot room is also good you can easily slide your feet under the front seat that's really good you get separate individual AC vent for the rear seats. I say AC vent because this is just a single unit, uh, but it's divided into two. You can actually uh, control the direct direction of flow sideways for every individual passenger. So that's good. But however, it could be a little bit better in terms of design. You get a sort of cup holder over here. It's a flip foldable. It is not the best in terms of build quality, but it's still fine. You get a 12 volt charging socket under here as well. And this here is a massive transmission tunnel. I don't know why is this uh, transmission tunnel present. It's not a transmission tunnel. I know that because it's a front wheel drive car. Uh, but still, I think that this hump is there for uh, chassis stiffness and uh, rigidity, probably. So overall, this here is a really good backseat. The recline angle is really comfortable and so spacious. The thigh support is good as well. It's really good. You got a center armrest which is large in capacity, very similar to a Skoda Rapid. It's large in size and it's got a couple of cup holders as well. Uh, however, what this car does not get are the sun blinds which uh, Skoda offered as accessories for uh, almost all the windows in the rear. That is missing over here. And uh, the Sias also offers rear sun blinds which this car does not. So, okay, those fancy things could have been uh, left out. Well, they could be easily ignored or fit as accessories the good thing is that the rear seats get nice thick rear headrests instead of providing uh, a sort of a small waterfall type uh, headrest like on any other sedan so this is a really good feature and you got two three-point seat belts one lap belt for the middle passenger and uh, yeah you get isofix child seat mounts do you get that I don't think so okay so you do not get isofix child mount child seat mount so that's okay uh, but still this car uh, has got additional two airbags well you get two for the front the driver the passenger gets uh, each and you got additional airbags on the sides of the front seat so in total you get four airbags on the Highline plus variant so that is a really good bonus when you compare with uh, Maruti Sias or uh, well or well, those cars because uh, the Hyundai Verna and uh, the Honda City offer six airbags on certain variants well the top end variants so yeah it's a really good back seat it's really comfortable it's spacious it's so premium and everything is well built in terms of quality for instance this here is the door handle 
it is made of really good solid metal it's a genuine metal and that is really good attention to detail and quality that's Volkswagen to you it's so premium to use and so premium to look at every texture everything in this interior is so good to feel and good to touch so yeah so let me just pop open the boot and then the bonnet to show you what all is left of this car so as i already showed you to pop open the boot of the volkswagen vento this here is the uh, switch on the driver door so let me just do that so yeah voila that is the boot of the volkswagen vento it is easily around 450 liters in capacity however it's not up to segment uh, well leaders such as uh, the honda city and uh, maruti sias which easily offer 500 liters of space but it is still a really good large boot space it is so very well carpeted as well and uh, you can store a lot of things here i don't think you will need around 500 liters for anything especially given the fact that this is a sedan so under the boot floor is the spare wheel uh which is 14 inch in size so it is not the 16 inch uh, wheel you would expect to match the actual wheels but still uh, these are spare uh, space savers so you can you have to use these wheels until the actual 16 inch wheel gets repaired you get the toolkit over there itself and this here additionally is the safety triangle and other things you will ever need for uh, uh, the utility purpose it's a really nice carpeted uh, boot and even you can see that the boot lid itself is uh, got really nice carpeting underneath so that's really good attention to detail you got those uh, rear uh, brace bars to provide additional stiffness for the rear seat in terms of a crash so let me just pop open the bonnet now to show you the 1.2 liter tsi petrol engine so that was a really robust and strong liver and uh, yeah this here is a really robust and strong bonnet it's so heavy it's got really nice under bonnet cladding as well so it's really good to feel such uh, quality items after a very long time so here is the turbo stratified engine it's a turbo petrol engine so yeah it's really one among the most powerful uh, engines and most enjoyable enthusiast choice engine and this is Volkswagen's best piece of engineering the next uh, in terms of BS6 this engine may not be probably carried over to BS6 compliancy uh, instead this engine will be replaced by a one liter turbo stratified engine turbo petrol engine which will also be three cylinders well which, which will be three cylinder this here is a four cylinder unit and that one will be a three cylinder unit so I don't know how good or bad will that be but being a TSI it is expected to be as good as this one so that's all about the engine and apart from this TSI turbo petrol the Vento also comes with a 1.5 liter turbo diesel engine which is uh, the public's choice because that's, uh, that engine is also fantastic however I don't know whether that engine will be uh, tuned for BS6 compliancy so it would be really sad if that engine is discontinued because that is a really good engine so yeah that was all about the Volkswagen Vento I think it's a perfectly fantastic car in terms of uh, overall premiumness build quality and uh, enthusiast choice if you want to drive your uh, family sedan a little bit uh, sportier so this car is the enthusiast choice till now and uh, I also think the very same so do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the Volkswagen Vento Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. The pricing is on the screen for you, of course. And uh, see you on another video. Thank you for watching.